Hey, John Cristani here, and I'm gonna be going over how to create a successful YouTube channel. Now, I've gotten my channel up to over 400,000 people following these simple three steps. I'm gonna be going over how to make money from YouTube, creating a content schedule for yourself, and increasing the quality of your videos and your entire channel over time. Let's get it. Hey, John Cristani here, and over the past two and a half years, I've built up a YouTube channel that has over 400,000 subscribers. And the way I've done so is following these simple three steps involving making money from YouTube, creating a content schedule so I can post consistently, and increasing the quality of my videos and my overall channel over time. Now, the first important thing to understand about YouTube is you need to start with monetization in mind before you even get into your channel. Now, most people People start a YouTube channel just thinking they want a lot of views or they want a lot of subscribers, but this is the wrong way to actually go about starting a YouTube channel. The right mindset is actually thinking of YouTube as a long-term asset to support the business or the way of making money that you're looking to get into. To start making money from YouTube, from the ads that YouTube places over your videos, it's called Google AdSense. And to do that, you need at least a thousand subscribers or 4,000 hours of watch time. Now, if you wanna backwards engineer that math for an educational channel such as myself, which gets an average view time of about four to five minutes, you're gonna need about 50,000 views to get to the point where you can actually monetize. For other sorts of channels that you know go over maybe comedies or parodies or funny stuff or music or pranks, you're gonna see more like an average watch time of about one to two minutes. So to get to the point where you can monetize, you're gonna need about maybe a quarter of a million views until you get to that golden money. Now don't be discouraged because there's actually many ways to make money from YouTube. And the first and the easiest is actually just looking to see what types of products your audience already buys and find an affiliate offer for a product in a category that your customers already buy. Now you should ideally scout out products that your customers would want before you even shoot your videos. Now a good example of this is Casey Neistat, who is a YouTuber that focuses on film and photography and has millions of subscribers. And you can see in his early videos, he used a lot of affiliate links linking to different to the camera equipment and the video equipment that he used in his video for other aspiring photographers and videographers. And he used links from Amazon's affiliate program within his channel. And he was able to make a good deal of money from that because people watching the high quality of his video footage would want to naturally replicate his camera and audio equipment setup. And they could just go to the links in his description and purchase the same camera equipment equipment that he was using and he would get a percentage cut of whatever those people bought. It's good to always have plenty of options of products that your customers or that your viewers might want to buy in the pipeline just so that you can have options of products from which to feature in your videos in which you can sell or promote to your customer base. It's a good idea to have a big list of products in the pipeline so that you can feature those products or talk about those products during your videos so that your viewers can hopefully find value from them and possibly even purchase them from you if they're so inclined. Now with that set up, monetization isn't a problem and you'll always have plenty of options of ways to make money from your video even if you don't have big brands paying you on a per video basis or if you don't have AdSense enabled. Now the second step to creating a successful YouTube channel is you need to create a content schedule for yourself. YouTube rewards you with views by suggesting your videos to other people if you post on a consistent schedule. On the same token, YouTube will lower your reach and not suggest your videos to many people. Hey, 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 do you wanna come on my video? Hey, this is my daughter, Lily. Say hi to the people, Lily. I'm telling them how to create a successful YouTube channel. Do you have any tips? Um, what we say and what we do. Yeah, what we say and what we do. What else? Yeah. And always remember, 
Look where you're going. Always remember, look where you're going. That's actually a very good tip, Lily. You know, I've talked to people about how they need to focus on their goals. And if you have a good goal mm -hmm. in mind, that will help you become successful. Yeah. Like, you're a very fast runner. And what does your sister do? Uh, she bites. She bites. She bites a lot. And do you think people should read a lot? Yeah. Does we Daddy read a lot? Yeah. What do you tell the people about reading? Reading is good. And always remember, look where you're going. Always remember, look where you're going. Advice from Lily. Okay, I'm gonna finish yeah. up my videos, okay? Another thing many people starting out with YouTube do is they'll make a lot of videos. They'll be really excited the first week. They'll say, I'm gonna do YouTube. I'm gonna upload a bunch of videos. And then they don't stay consistent. And YouTube will love you week one and reward you with a bunch of views because you're starting to actually upload videos to their platform. But what's important is that you pick a certain number of videos that you can stick to for at least six months and then stick to it. Very, very important. Ideally, you'll do what I kind of do, which is you shoot a bunch of videos in advance and then you schedule them out over time so you're never caught having an inconsistent upload schedule because once again, the biggest, biggest foul in YouTube territory is not sticking to a consistent upload schedule. Now, the third step to creating a successful YouTube channel is you need to consistently up the quality over time. Now, posting videos consistently is great, but as you start increasing your audience and broadening your reach, you're going to need to start thinking about increasing the quality and the production of your videos. Big YouTubers will tell you that they all started with low quality videos, as did I, but they all increased the quality of their video over time. So just don't get comfortable thinking you can make low quality videos forever. You can certainly use it to gain an audience and gain 100,000 or so subscribers, but as you get bigger and as you become a full-time YouTuber, you'll need to start increasing the quality. It's simple to upgrade things and your equipment can you know, it's just a one-time investment. For instance, these lights that I'm using, I got them from Home Depot for $40 each. So my lighting literally cost me $80. The camera will typically be your biggest expense. And in my case, I'm using one of some old GoPro camera. It cost me a couple hundred bucks. But I started on just my smartphone. I just filmed on my smartphone, selfie style, for about a year. You'll also wanna get a lav mic. In my case, I'm using a boom mic that's a attached to the uh, GoPro, and that costs about $100, about $80. But what's great is you can start YouTube with just your smartphone or whatever camera somebody has lying around, and you can upgrade over time as you start earning money, and that will pay off for every future video that you do. Now, the same especially applies to editing, and this is where I believe it's the most important, is over time you'll want to increase the editing of your videos, the editing quality, the types of of cuts, the types of everything, fly-ins, everything else that you use in your videos. Most consumers are conditioned by social media to want to see something change every one to two seconds. You know, every couple seconds, people need to see something change or fly in or some sort of effect in your videos or else they'll start to lose attention. Again, this is the society we live in. You look at TikTok and other social networks, uh, Facebook, people scroll and just look at how often people flick their scroll screen next time you're in a Starbucks or anywhere that you can watch people play on their phones. They flick it about once every second. And you have to think that's about the attention span of the average human being nowadays that has a smartphone. So you really have to play to that sort of rhythm in terms of thinking of how often you have to change things in your videos. That better quality editing and more cuts will cause people to watch your videos longer, which will cause YouTube to suggest your videos more, which will cause your views to go up which will cause your money to go up as well. Now, one thing I did once I got to over 60,000 subscribers on YouTube, I started investing in having a team of people to edit my videos. And it doesn't cost a lot. If you hire some people from onlinejobs.ph in the Philippines, you can get videos done for anywhere from 20 to $50 per video. And what I did, what I instructed my editors to do was to use the same types of edits and cuts and effects 
effects that the other top YouTubers in my niche, which are, it's kind of like online business or the make money niche that use. And I told them, I said, hey, use the edits and the cuts that they use the most. And I had them analyze it and prepare about 15 different edits or cut styles, you know, fly-ins, all that type of stuff that people use. And I told them, hey, have at it, use these effects in my videos. And it worked. And that helped my views start increasing even more. I started shooting on higher quality cameras. And I don't know, you know, I'm at 400 some thousand subscribers today. And it gives you just a pretty big presence in the world. Now, thanks for watching my channel. Hopefully you learned something about how to create a successful YouTube channel and make sure that you hit the like button, you hit the subscribe button, you hit the, I don't know, leave a comment. Let me know where you're from. Let me know if you have any questions. If you wanna continue the conversation, go to my Discord chat, which is in the link below. And also, if you'd like to just kind of like chat with me offhandedly, make sure you subscribe or follow me on Twitch because sometimes I'll play video games late at night. And if you just wanna have a casual conversation with me, hit me up there whenever I'm doing a live stream. Usually there's only a few people on and that can give you a way to direct with me if you wanna talk. I also do live streams every Monday and we give away a lot of money. This Monday I gave away about $500. You see, these are all gift cards. You know, we scratch off the backs of them. You know, here is a gift card for $10. Here's a gift card for another $10. Here's a gift card for another $10. We had a few gift cards for $50, $100. So we give these all away just as a reward for being a subscriber and hitting and destroying that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Say bye. Have a good day.